Lake Kabuto are our friends. Like cats and doggies. Another kid? Oh, didn't we go through this last time? Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakano's a kid, too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. Although, uh... Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience. Her chosen Onikabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. I don't know what you guys are talking about. My Onikabuto was a present from Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. Oh, your father sounds like a real stand-up guy. Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. Huh! You make it sound like Paimon's the weakest choice on our side! Still, Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because you two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun! I nearly died of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. How'd you get so freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? So this is how Oni Kabuto play together? I get it now. <laughs> uh, do you have time to play some more? And I also want to watch you guys play too. Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this. Oh, kind of terrifying. Hey, Bullchucker, if you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shelled creatures just by listening to Goba talk to Crystal Tornado. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I wish. <sighs> Thank you. 